body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. A body has been discovered. Now then, after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. Two body discovery announcements in a row? That means... Alright, so... God damn it. Alright, so... Hayako doesn't really, doesn't really phase me. Because I'm like, oh, you're probably gonna die. And on top of that, hers isn't as fucking fucked up as this. Someone, com someone must have completely took in advantage of Ibuki's gullibility, right? And told her to go hang herself. And she just did it on her own will. Which is pretty fucked up. And honestly, I'm in shock right now. I can't. I was starting to like Ibuki too. That's the... Damn it. The hang body with the handbag on its head. Hayako is suspended... Uh, Hayako suspended body. Both those bodies have been discovered at the same time. What is this? What? Hayako and who the hell is the other ones wearing the handbag? Could it be? Could it be two victims? But when I was here earlier, I didn't see Hayako's body. I only saw the hanged body over there. Not even ten minutes passed, but still, why? What, what is this? Impossible, impossible, impossible. It's impossible for killings to happen on this island. Shut, the hell up. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. This is just... For now, we should lower the person wearing the handbag to the ground. Yeah, like, a lot of respect, man. The way I like that is just too sad. That's fucking... Damn. Yes. I read, like... I'd rather find a body, like, stabbed in something, and like, like my hero was, I'd rather find something like that, instead of seeing the fact that someone's just hanging, that's fucked up. Uh, but, what about preserving the scene of the crime? Who the fuck cares about that? Yeah, seriously, sorry Mekon, but honestly, I don't care about that right now. There's a control panel for the uh, baton lighting on the, on the, ah, uh, goddamn, on the wing of the stage. You can lower the body. And she was trying her best to make everyone happy, too. Shit! Fihigo ran over to the wing of the stage and pressed the button lower control. Lower the p uh, lock control panel, whatever the fuck. With the motorized sound like growling of a starving beast, the, the, bat the baton, the baton lighting slowly descended. When it was descending, enough for us to reach it, we all worked together to lower the body. Now I'm gonna take off the handbag, okay? It's it's okay. Ah oh, shit! <sighs> come on, man. Even though I expected it, I still didn't want to confront the reality. And the handbag was no denying that's the face I saw to belong. Uh, saw belong to a bookie. Damn it! Damn it! It's all my fault. If only I did a better job watching over Ibuki. You're wrong. It's not your fault, Mekon. No matter how you feel, the one at fault is... Jeez. Feels like someone died in here or something. So you showed up. The root of all evil. How dare you call your big brother the root of all evil. I even want the trouble of bringing everyone for you. Bringing everyone? Oh, shit. Are you kidding me? What the hell is going on here? I Ibuki, Hayako. What? So two people have been killed? What? Whoa there. Not even all. I also summoned the others uh, who were at the hospital. The others? Looks like another situ- What? You're cured now? What the fuck? Get Marakuma! You bastard! Looks like another serious incident occurred while I was unaware. Damn it. I can't believe it! It did such a horrible thing! Naito Kane, are you okay? Huh? Huh, of course. What do you mean, of course? No way! Are you talking about the despair disease? Jeez, you guys, that stuff is totally over now. Hey. Over? Yeah, because I got bored. That's... Forget that silly reason. And now that the killing has started, there's no need to keep the motive around anymore. 
Yep, that spirit disease is gone now, so you don't have to worry about it anymore. What the heck? That's impossible. How can you spread a disease and cure it so easily? Uh, who cares about the itty bitty details? What matters is that it's already been cured. So let's get back to our, our, our main topic and proceed as usual. The Monokuma file! Monokuma, you're honestly Like, I think Monokuma is more of a dickhead in this game than he was in the first. Like, there's no... There's no ands, buts, or what's about it. Like, Monokuma definitely stepped his game up. And he's a dickhead. See ya later! <sighs> but seriously, who the fuck is controlling Monokuma this time? Anyways, I'll be waiting on a class trial. Do your best to investigate. Fucking shit. Again? We have to do this again? We have no choice. Like last time, if that means one of us killed these two, then we cannot let this be. Okay, wait a minute, but hold on. Killing one pe person? Alright, whatever. Who's the asshole who killed two people? Why two? What is the reasoning? Oh, uh, why Why do we have to do this? Damn it. Uh, thinking like I won't do anything. We have to do this. If we don't do anything, we all be executed. Uh, God damn it. Abandon your overabundance and complaints this instant. This has no place in the world. But what about Nekamaru? What's going to happen to him? If he's not going to participate this time, is that even allowed? <laughs> Nekamaru... Huh? The sting? Uh, that's strange. I'm crying. What happened to me? <laughs> Looks like lingering of uh, after effects of the spare disease is nothing for you to worry about. Hey. Are you okay? Yep. Fortunately, it seems like I have nothing to worry about either. Since you had the latter disease, your after effects could be lies, maybe. Please leave Nekamura to me. Everyone must focus on the investigation, so I must do my very best. Alrighty. I will definitely bring back Nekamura and win everyone's trust. Um. I see. We should lead Nekamura to Monomi. What about guarding this area? Do we still need it? Damn it. I'll stay. I still don't feel good yet. Um. um, it's better if we stay here. It's better if I stay here too, right? I should perform an autopsy again, right? Yeah, please do, Mekon. I know it's going to be hard for you, but please. You got two people this time. Damn right. Then I'll leave that to you. Then let's get started. We can end this nightmare for good. That's right. We need to end this. We need to finish this once and for all. I know there's no way we can believe that one of us did this. But for the sake of the two, we need to find the truth. And then we need to end this nightmare once and for all. <sighs> huh? Like... I've been putting up with this for a while. But why is it so damn hot in here? I hate being hot. It's because your clothes are so smothering. Uh, I seriously can't stand it. I'll let you guys investigate this place. So Kazuchi left the music venue under a, under a cloud of grumbling complaints. But it's fucking... It's really hot in here. In fact, it's sweateringly hot. What is this? No, before that, I need to check Monokuma file first. Okay. Oh shit. So I assume both of them were strangled to death? Uh, there are two victims this time, Buki Miyota and Hayako uh, Sayonji. Buki Miyota's cause of death was crushed windpipe as a result of choking. Yep. Yeah, I mean that, yeah, there's no, no external injuries. Hayako's uh, death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp tool. Really? Damn! It appears her death was instant. Well, at least she didn't have to suffer. What the? Is this it? I already knew that it caused death from the beginning, so this isn't going to be a useful clue. Alright, well. It's strange. Why did the killer kill two people? Exactly, why? Like, there's no point in that. Huh? I mean, the more people you kill, the more clues you'll leave, right? So I don't think it's really necessary to kill two people and take that kind of risk. I agree with that. Or was that the reason why they had to kill two people? A reason for killing two people? Regardless, something like this shouldn't be forgiven, so... Definitely I'll definitely find the truth behind this case. And that's what I think. Seriously, I really prefer she had more confident sound and catchphrase. I'm confused! Who would have the motive to do this? The motive was the disease. There's no reason why... Mm. Unless Hayako caught the disease somehow. There might be a motive behind it. 
Oh, uh, well, anyways, I'm gonna head to the storage room, because, ah, uh, god damn it, there's gotta be something in here. Uh, there's a door that says staff only looks like it's dangerous. Man, we'll investigate here, too. Yeah, let's go. There's gotta be something in here. Oh, Nagito, hey, what's up? Nagito, me, you are in the storage room again. Let's see. Stickers, uh, hmm? I'm trying to see if there's anything different here. Musical instruments, shelves. It doesn't seem like anything's different in here, at least from what I think. Naito, did you come here and investigate the storage room too? <laughs> I just want to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? Or is he trying to stand he's trying to stand guard here? So how about it? Did you find any clues? Uh the tipped over stepladder on the stage, the duct tape behind Hayako. Probably all came from the storage room. You know what? I didn't even hmm. Yeah, I wasn't even, I should have checked out the bodies first. You're right about that. There might be other things from the storage room that they use for the crime. You all always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just going to be one on the killer's side, right? <laughs> oh, I'm not siding with the killer, you know. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of Hope. That's all there is to it. That's the main reason why this case is really special. Huh? Oh, but I can't say for certain, though. Why is this guy s what the fuck is he saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Alright, you know, I'm gonna- Oh, I should investigate here. Alright, I was gonna go back and fucking, uh, check the bodies out, but, um... The stickers. Anything off? There's a lot of stickers. And I made a bunch of them and had too many left over. So I'm press, huh? Compared to the last time, I feel like there's less stickers than before. Uh, I'm overthinking this. Hmm. Shelves. There's a carpeting wallpaper and a paint on the shelves and probably used storage decoration. Hmm? This is folded up with lower shelf looks like wallpaper. There's a lot of stickers pasted all over the front of the wallpaper. And there's wallpaper. It looks like torn, but what does it mean? Okay. Uh, musical in instruments? There's a lot of different musical instruments lined up here. I know, uh, I know about guitars and drums, but there are also instruments and machines that I've never seen before. But they don't really look like they pertain to the case. Alright. Uh, full length mirror. Okay. Uh, you can see your whole body in a huge full length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With the mirror, this big is easy to check out how you look. Uh, I guess that's everything important in the storage room. I guess I should go back to the music venue. Yeah. I guess. I should really check out the bodies, you know? Should always do that first. Uh, well, let's start with Hayako, because Ibuki kind of, damn, man, like, Ibuki depresses me right now. That's really fucked up. Hayako's body is suspended against the pillar on the stage. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was slit throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably because duct tape... If she has a slit throat, where the fuck did all the blood go? But why is Hayako's kimono like this? Yeah, is that on backwards? Her kimono is all, uh, disheveled. Also, her sash is tied in the front. Did the killer do this too? But, when did the killer kill Hayako? When I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hayako's body here. In the front case, Hayako was killed. Oh, in the front. Why the- I added a word that wasn't there before. If that's the case, Hayako was killed. It must have been during the time I was getting everyone before I came back here. But that was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible that the killer killed Hayako and trapped her? Uh, trapped her. And taped her in such a short amount of time? Even if it's possible, whoever did it would have had narrowed, would have had a narrow window of time to do so. Because the killer must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during the time, right? Hmm. Hey! Hey, Hajime, do you have a minute? No, you're in the way. I don't want you to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need you to help me with. Well, help. Actually. If you look closely, there's unnatural shape bulging from inside Hayako's kimono. Shouldn't the girls check that out? I don't think we should do that. So I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want me to search inside her kimono. Uh, that's exactly it. Well, it would be a problem if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with that now that she's dead? Fine, I, I don't want to do it. I'll just have to ask someone else. Hey, Akane! Yo, what's up? 
Uh, well, there's something I want you to do for me. It looks like there's something inside uh, Hayako's kimono, so can you feel f can you feel around it for a bit? What? Huh? I don't really understand, but I just gotta check uh, her kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Hakane. Helping each other is such a wonderful thing. Uh, let's see. Kind of reached through the duct tape behind Hayako as she stuck her hand inside the kimono. Damn, she's tied up so tight I can't really reach with my hand. Oh, wait, hold on. There's something. Is this what you're looking for? Is that a key? It looks different than the key to the cottage, so this might be a key to her motel room. Key to her motel room, huh? If her key was so... If her key was so deep inside the kimono that it had... It must have been hard to remove. What? Then it's very unlucky that her killer tampered with this evidence. Because it's all a trap. They would put more towards the front of the kimono so we notice it easier. Which means we can conclude that it's something Hayako had with her all along. Alright. Hmm. Hey. Oh, also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything, but looks like you were curious about the condition of Hayako's body, right, Hajime? I'm wondering where the fuck is all the blood if her throat was slit? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. It's true that there's several mysteries regarding her body. Well, if you hear me out for a second, out of all those mysteries, I would think the strangest is... See? The way they wrapped her body with the duct tape. It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on, the, on her neck, do you think? Hide the wound on her neck. Oh yeah, you're right. They did. They, they, yeah, there's like a bunch of tape around there. I don't really know if it's true intentions, but I guess it's a... It's big help for the investigation. The reason low volume of blood is because duct tape is acting as as a compressed... Uh, God damn Everybody was left alone after her throat was slit. The surrounding area would be sea of blood. Okay, so that's why there isn't a lot of blood. Because her fucking... Her neck is duct taped. Alright, well, shit. A sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anybody faint. Damn it. That's just... God damn it. Huh, wait, hold up. Are those, like, streaks on the ground? Wait, hold up. Wait, I want to check her... I want to check out again. There's, like, streaks on the ground. Spinning pillar stage. She's wrapped again. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, bleeding probably wrapped around it. But this duct tape. After hearing from Naito, you see the killer use concealed neck wound. But what's even stranger to me is the condition of her kimono. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Naito also found one more clue. da 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 but the biggest problem is the fact that Hayako was so was killed so suddenly. When I first yeah da 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 yeah must have been during time yeah is he just repeating everything? Ah uh, yeah okay yes. But look there's like if you look closely here there's like streaks down here so somebody dragged her body and like propped it up or some shit. Uh, candle that was used as lighting. There's a massive candle positioned near the front of the stage. The dull light of the video must have been coming from this candle. A candle this huge might be perfect for lighting, but they didn't need to bother using a candle. They just... Uh, they should have just used normal stage lighting. Hmm. Okay. The bag. This bag was at a movie theater. Ibuki had a handbag over her head hanging from the ceiling, but why does she have a handbag on her head? Wait, what? The handbag, up for the inspection, there's a Monomi uh, no decal on the fabric. Looks like it isn't just a normal bag. I assume it was from the movie theater. There's the rope. Wait. Oh wait, we took the rope down. I was about to say, why is the rope cut down? Oh, uh, the rope is tied to the baton lighting and the ceiling. A boogie hanged herself with the rope and died. Uh, from what I can tell, it looks like a regular length of rope with no unnatural features. But despite the fact this music venue has a storage room, there should have been there should have been any rope in there, which means it was obtained from the supermarket. Did the killer bring this with them? It means anybody could have obtained the rope, and it means that it's difficult to use this as a clue. I wonder if that's true, huh? Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Excuse me, Mikon. Do you have a moment? Uh, d what happened? There's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt. There's no doubt that Buki's case of death was being hanged by the rope, right? Yes, she has no other external injuries, so there's no doubt die from hanging a rope. Are you gonna tell me that the rope has different like tie patterns and it doesn't match with her neck wounds? I see. I see. So Buki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. You might not have seen it, but we all saw she hung herself. 
You're right. Yep, I got it. So the rope won't be much of a clue. Then I might as well search in another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what she's up to. Alright, I thought they were gonna say, like, fucking, like, uh, she didn't hang herself. Somebody must have strangled her out. Because the rope don't match for some reason. Or something like that, right? Um, step ladder. The step ladder is tipped over on the side. This must be the step ladder that Ibuki used in this video I saw. Ah, isn't that a blood stain? Look, there's blood stain around the left side of the step ladder. Yeah, you are right about that. Why would there blood stain be there if she hung herself? There should be no blood. Only her windpipe should be crushed. Mom. Now, as I recall, the bookie didn't have any external injuries. So, could the blood have come from Hayaka? What? Then it must be Hayaka's blood. Yep. Well, that's the only thing I can think of. A blood stain is probably belongs to Hayaka. It's one on the left side of the step ladder. It doesn't mean. It means Hayaka was probably already dead before Ibuki went to go hang herself. Damn, man, like. Ah. Excuse me, Ibuki, gotta check you out real quick. Ibuki's body lay atop of the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Hmm? Uh, there's blood on her feet. I didn't notice when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, blood belongs to someone else. Damn right! Hey, Hajime, can I talk to you for a second? You already discovered the body before you met with us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know if it was Ibuki because of the hemp bag, though. But I knew right away she was dead since she was hanging from the rope. Like... Which means Ibuki must have died before Hayaka was tied up. Well... That helps, and there's no time to death written in the no, There's no time for death written in Oh yeah, you're right. There is no time of death. So I wasn't really sure who died first. Is that true, their estimate of time death was written in the, uh, hmm. But I shouldn't know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. In the video, Ibuki was climbing the step ladder on her own. So right after that... Wait, hold on. If Ibuki can fly the step ladder on her and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hayako's death afterwards. Two different deaths happen at the same time. There's no way it's coincidence. Yeah. Okay. Um. That might be it. Unless there's something else. Oh! AC control. Looks like the music video is C unit. That's right, you might be able to adjust the hot air in with this. Alright, I should mess around with it a little, like so. Ah, oh, it's running a heater over 86 degrees Fahrenheit? Now I know why it's so damn hot! I better turn off the heater for now. It should have cooled things off a little. Hmm. I almost didn't see that. I was actually looking at the stickers instead. Cheeky, you got any news for me? With her arms crossed and thought looking on her face, Cheeky was silently staring onto the stage floor. Did something drop uh, on the floor there? Nothing dropped, it's just dirty. Dirty? Hey, hey. See, take a closer look on the floor. Yeah, see, look, I said the blood streaks. That means, like, and what I'm guessing right now is... Hayako must have been dead before Ibuki went to hang herself. Why? The and then once uh, Hajime went to go get the others, whoever the culprit is locked the door and then took Hayako's body and hung it up. Now, why do they want it straight up? Probably to make it look like that she died after her, but little streaks. Them streaks are... That's what you do when you drag bodies. You leave streaks. Anyways, yeah, you're right. There's smudges on some... <coughs> oh, my throat. It hurts. My voice. I'm hurting my voice. You're right. There's a smudge as if something was wiped off. Wait, it isn't something. Is this a blood stain? Yep. Well, the blood stain isn't strange. Hayako's next was splashed not far from here. Yeah. Rather, what's strange is, why did the killer try to hide it? Hide it. So... If they were trying to hide it, they would have bothered wiping it off. Uh, the reason the killer wiped the blood stain, as long as the blood is nearby, there's no way he'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off the blood stain. So, what was the killer trying to hide? Okay, I think that's it for everything on the stage. Uh, curtains. 
Yeah, let's check the curtains real quick. There's a black curtain hanging from the far side of the stage. Curtains, wow, can reach from the edge of the stage, blah, blah. Uh -huh. It's not a really full length curtain. The curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. It was probably obtained from the fr uh, from the furniture section of the supermarket. Um, see, the back of the curtain taped is temporarily used, just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took the time to actually bring the curtain from the supermarket? Is that what? <clears throat> Damn it! My voice hurts. If they went that far, this was probably something that the killer really needed for the crime. Why did they need it? Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answer came easily. Ah, okay. So the curtain was a clue. That's nice. Is there anything else? Baton light control. Alright. Uh, there's a control panel on the wing of the stage. It seems you can use control to raise and lower the baton lightings on the ceiling. In fact, we used it to lower Ibuki's hanged body. Speaking of the lighting, the video... Uh, as I say, the video of the music venue I saw... It had dim lighting, had a dim candlelight ambiance to it, and it didn't look like this lighting was used at all. But why did they use this lighting? Was there some reason that they were that it would have convinced them? It probably. So you notice it too, fiend. Maybe they used the candle because maybe the lighting from the stage would have fucking would have. Uh, I don't know. Showed like. A, sh a casted shadow of them killing Hayako or some shit? I don't know. Ah, uh, noticed. So you didn't notice, hmm? Are those eyes just little glass balls? Take a look at the baton lighting above your head. Have you noticed the, um, aberrant eye- What the fuck is that word you keep using? Aberrant, right? Look at the baton lighting. What do you want? What is that? You mean that? Is that like a piece of cloth? What is that? There's something that looks like a black paper stuck to the baton lighting. <laughs> yeah, so you finally notice, but I can't really see it from here. I should lower the baton lighting one more time. Huh, there's no need. Go by four dark devas of destruction! Huh, go! Mirage Golden Hog, jump! Now's the time for you to take flight! Feast your eyes upon the brave souls of my four dark days of destruction! A hamster launched himself from Gundam's hand and ran up the baton lighting and the ceiling of the flash. Choo choo! He started running around the strip, uh, the stuck slip of paper and whatever the fuck. Then the paper fluttered down, and it was definitely caught, uh, yeah, def, definitely caught by Gundam. <laughs> ah, did you see that? Behold the power of the ultimate evil eye wielder. What the fuck? Wow, wow that's amazing! I, I have never seen a hamster do tricks. Oh, beautiful. They're my four dark days of destruction. Hamsters are merely their temporary form. So, what's with the paper? Fine. Mm, it seems to be some kind of thick paper. Thick. Th right? Yeah, for some reason I thought I mis mis misread the word thick and I thought it was thin. Some thick paper, though it does not have any special scribes on it. Any spell scribes on it. Uh, it appears it's nothing useful. No, that's not it. There's no doubt. It's some kind of clue. I mean, the fact that it was stuck in a place like that, no matter how we think about it, is too unnatural. Scrap of thick paper. Okay. Alright. Oh, you got something to tell me, Nagito? What's up? I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Uh, hey, can you explain it to me in detail? I think I'd uh, be able to give you some more useful information. Really, you might end up confessing us... Wait, what? You might end up confusing us again instead. You don't want to find the truth? You just want to make us suffer. That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe uh, I believe it's for everyone's sake. Oh well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'll gladly become the enemy. And I won't... <sighs> yep. Way to, way to ruin the reading by yawning me. Way to go. Anyways. I gladly become the enemy and I won't even mind when I die. That's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time. Huh? What does that mean? Regardless... I guess you're not gonna tell me, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feeling. Gut feelings? You should come by, uh, what? You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. What the fuck are you talking about? Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously the movie theater. After he said that, Nagato walked out of my sight. 
Well, I mean, yeah, the movie theater is where the bag came from. Mm. What do you mean, why is he interested in movie theater? Hey, Mekon, are you done with the autopsy? By the way, you no, know, fuck the autopsy. Let me see. Let me see the broken communicator. The shadow remains as a machine were spread all over the floor. All right, cool. I see. I see. This appears to be the surveillance camera unit. Cause if you put it in the music venue for com for communication purposes, why was it destroyed like this? Perhaps criminal psychi uh, psychology is a part as a play here. What do you mean? Even if you know they're not being recorded, there's no way the killer would tolerate. Uh, that's a lie. He sent a fucking signal to the other communicator device, communicating uh, committing a murder in front of a camera. So that's why they destroyed the camera? Hmm, seems plausible enough. They hesitated to murder someone in front of a camera, and that's why the killer destroyed this. Then, what was the thing I saw? Surveillance camera unit has been added to the truth bullets. Alright. Alright, uh, you got anything for me, Mikan? Ugh, <laughs> if only I noticed sooner, Ibuki might have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki went missing? After leaving Nagito's room, I went to the on-call room, and then, and that's when it came to me that I should go check on how everyone in the hospital is doing one more time before I go to sleep. And so, I went to the patient's room and noticed that Ibuki was gone, so I quickly ran out of the hospital, so that's what happened. And then I saw Fuyuhiko in front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help me look for Ibuki. Uh, that reminds me, where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. That's a long story. What? I'm sorry, I'm not, it's not like I doubt you or anything. There's no way I doubt you because we've been together since this morning. You're right, we were together until you went to the on-call room. That's right, we were together until just a little before the morning Monokuma announced. So I don't doubt you, I'm telling the truth. Um, is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please spare my life at least. <laughs> Aww, Mikan's so fucking, she's amazing. She's so adorable. But yeah, her account as my alibi. That's gonna be useful. Alright, um... Fihiko, you find anything? Damn right! Hey Hajime, take a look at this. Uh, what? Look what's in front of the door. Oh, uh, there's a drumstick. Looks like he's broken. So that's probably what they used to barricade the door. Like... Uh, something like that in front of the door. You think it might be a really big clue? Why would this be a clue? Remember when we came to the music venue? It won't open. The only thing we can use is force. Uh, I wonder if it's going to be possible for four of us. It doesn't matter. You got to do it or not. We have to try. Let's go. We'll all charge at the same time. Ready, set, go! If you hear a signal, we all charge the door. Bam! The door was locked when we tried to go inside, and the four of us charged into the door. But when I examined it, I found out that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? The door is designed to be pushed open, and this is the shape of a handle. If it sticks... <clears throat> Sorry, I have to clear my throat. If, it, uh, if a stick was used to bar the door here, well, don't you think it would lock the door and keep it from opening? You mean you think this drumstick was used to lock the door? Uh, the broken drumstick on the floor in front of the door should be proof of that. Then how is the killer able to get out? Huh? I mean, the music video. Uh, music video. The music venue doesn't even have windows. This door is the only entrance. If they locked the door from inside, the killer would have been able to escape outside. Maybe. Maybe the killer was still inside when he broke down the door to the music video. Uh, vi Why do I keep saying video? <laughs> the music video. My bad. Music venue. And then waited for us until we were ready at the scene of the crime to join us. You know, don't they use tricks like that? A lot of mysterious uh, mystery genres and shit. If that's the case, there might be evidence of that around here somewhere. Alright, I'm definitely going to find it. I won't let the killer get away this time. The killer was still inside when we broke the door down. Uh, like he said, it might be possible, but... I heard what you two were discussing. Cheeky. That was kind of cool entrance. Yeah, she said, Hold up! Stop! Hammer time. Well. Besides, the broken drumstick is also... Uh, I've also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? Look there. A weird glob where the... Huh. Where I left the door touches... Uh, it's all green and shit. It's, uh, I assume it stick it. It sticks to things. It's a weird glob where the right and left of the door touch. See? Hey, you're right. What is it? Looks firm. Think it's rubber? Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber, but... 
As she said that, Jakey bent down, scraped off a set semi-transparent glob with her finger. No. Why are you putting that in your mouth? What is good with you? Ah, choo-choo. It smells like workshop chemicals. Then why are you eating it? Spit that out, stupid! And this chewiness. I see. So, uh, I think... Oh, wait. This thing might be a glob now, but... That doesn't mean it was glob from the start. For instance, it was originally a liquid that hardened into this. It, may, it might be possible to apply it directly and smoothly into the gaps of the door. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just as I thought, it tastes nasty. Why the fuck did you eat that? What the fuck was wrong with you? Uh, besides, there's a bit about uh, that bit about the taste. It's okay to consider that some kind of clue, right? Uh, who does that? Yeah, let me just um, let me just eat this right here. All right, I just close the finishing uh, investigation in the menu. Uh, but I still need to talk to Mikon. What? She's done already? I still gotta go to the movie theater. How about it, Mikon? Have you found anything out? Uh, I'll tell you the truth. It's been very inconclusive. But it's not my fault. The music venue's just fucking hot, man. Because of the heat, I can estimate the time of death. Oh, you can't estimate it. Alright. Because of the heat? Is that possible? If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see. That might have been a killer's goal. They covered up their time of death by using the heater. But that's weird. Even if the heat is killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree, as long as I saw it, it could be clear what order the murders occur. I'm telling you, motherfuckers, Hayako died first! There's a bunch of evidence to it, and they're trying to hide that fact for some fucking reason. I just don't know what the reason is. First was Ibuki, then Hayako. And as long as this is an in, oh, uh, intimidation murder, there should be any mistakes of the order of the murders. Huh? Intimidation murder? Uh, you don't know, Hajime? I thought everyone already knew. It's a murder where the killer uses creative works like a song or a film as an outline for their killing. It's so common that the tech novels, manga, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. Yeah. You mean like right now? No, I'm kidding. Uh, how could an intimidation murder be related to this murder? I don't know, Hajime. How could I find it? not like they videotaped it, you fucking idiot. <laughs> Well, based on the killing order and the way they were killed, it's clearly an imitation of that movie. That movie? What movie? Uh, the assumption of the- <gasps> Monokuma had a motive at the movie theater! I didn't watch it! He did say it was the motive! Oh, you piece of shit! Oh, you fucking asshole, Monokuma, you're a piece of shit! Anyways, the assumption is that an intimidation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. The goal was an intentional- mm. Intim uh, fuck. An intimidation murder. An intimidation murder. Uh, even. I don't even think the word is intimidation, right? Not imita intimidation. Imitation. That's why. Like, I'm saying intimidation, it's imitation. Imitation murder. You know? As in, they imitate. Alright. Uh, the goal was the imitation murder. I keep saying imitation. Uh, um, even so, why do they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me. There's really a, it's a, a, whatever, it's really a movie murder, and it's possible that one more person might have been killed. Who? Who? Who's killed? This too. It's clearly conceivable if the killer wishes to complete the, uh, the, fuck, the imitate, the, and, and what the fuck. Are you talking about an imit, oh, fuck. I literally just said what the word was and now I can't pronounce it. Intimidate, murder, and in, intimidate, man. Whatever, intimidation. Murder. Well, one more person might have been killed. Are you guys worried about getting another victim? There's no worries. Things would have been out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed at once. I'm really caught. <clears throat> I'm a real cautious fellow, so I prepared a perfect uh, countermeasure. Uh, one of the killing school trips to the same black end can only kill a maximum of two people. You mean you've added another rule? Well, if killing everyone at once is okay, the black end will be able to secure an easy victory, right? <laughs> this new rule will prevent that. Make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. If it's a maximum of two people, then there will be no more killing. Huh. Since you're here anyways, can I ask you one more thing? 
You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trials rules. Mm. I see, I see. As expected of you, you're very strict about games. I don't want to consider this possibility at all, and I don't even want to think someone would do this. If two cases occurred at once, what happened if there were two killers? Huh? So... Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hayako were killed by two different people. That would mean that two killers exist at the same time, but when we can vote for one person, right? I, I mean, we can only vote for one person, right? If we only choose one based on the majority vote, the other person could certainly achieve victory. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two, or four incidents overlapping one another? Silence. Shut up! It's okay, I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Hey. Me and two killers can't exist at the same time, so it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Yeah. Like Alright, fine! That's right! There's always one killer at a given time. Even if they had accomplice, I have to figure out who the mastermind is. Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. I see. So there's no possible, no possibilities for two killers. With this, I guess that narrows it down a bit. Yep, that makes things a little easier. Plus, if the same killer can kill a maximum of two people, it means third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. <laughs> breakthrough! You guys keep saying it, and it sounds strange to me what you guys mean by imitation. And could, uh, and could it be you haven't seen it? Seen what? Like I said, that movie. Yeah, we first explored the island. Monokuma was passing out imitation tickets. Then the imita an imitation is, of course, it's an imita imitation of that movie. Well, based on the murders, as time closely resembles the movie as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie, I see. Nagito mentioned someone about that. This can't be helped. I guess I really rely on my gut feeling. Gut feelings? You should come later, too. I'll be waiting for you. Exactly where? Well, obviously, the movie theater. You. I see, so you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you watch the movie before class trial starts. It looks like I got no. I gotta fucking watch the movie. Then I should get going. There's no other place I can. I want to investigate. Well, shit, there's one other place. Uh, where do you tend to go next, Cheeky? Probably the hospital, for sure. The first victim, Buki, was there, and I don't know what's going on at the hospital in the first place. Uh, thanks to the spare disease, we cannot go there for some time. She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital, too. It might be some clues related to Buki's death. For clues related to Hayako's death, I should try going over to the motel. Yeah, I mean, we should investigate her room. I assume there's probably blood everywhere. Anyways, there's still a lot of things I want to do before the class trial, so... I guess I have only one choice. I mean... I'm gonna... I'm gonna head to the movie first. I think that's more important at this time. 